the highly anticipated prequel to the Hunger Games trilogy, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes has finally been released in theaters. And for those who are fans of the book, this this may be something you guys will will enjoy. Starting off as always, we'll start with what we enjoyed. And I th- I think that overall, I surprisingly enjoyed this movie. I went in with very low expectations, but I think what really shocked me about this movie is Rachel Zegler. I she is such a terrible interviewer. I I don't like her. She seems very oh uh, she's not very grateful for what she has, and she just seems very disrespectful to people who are in her own movies, who have done other movies. She just doesn't seem like a nice person. I really didn't want to like her, but she's a great actress and a great singer. And that was surprising. And I I really hated that. But I guess she's just one of those actors that you can hate them, but they're still really great actors. I mean, we talked about Edward Norton a bit, like just like Edward Norton. She's good, which kind of sucks. I I liked, as I always do, Viola Davis. She's solid. She did a great job. You know, looks weird as goofy as I've ever seen her. The two eyes kind of threw me off. It was really creepy. She looks. I mean, she's she's a great actress. You you can't attack her for her acting abilities. And surprisingly enough, um, Rachel. I thought I didn't know she could sing like that. I was like, God damn. Yeah. Um, And I was surprised that there was music. I was like, Why is there Why is there music in here? I I didn't see it coming. Um. I have to see more of her. This is the first thing I've ever seen her in. I have to see more of her to see whether or not she's a great actress. Um, having said that, here her acting skills were pretty solid. Yeah. I have been ripping her a new ass, um, just like everyone on, on social media. But but to be fair, in my defense, I don't have a thing. I'm not a, I'm, I'm, you know, it's not a macho thing or like a misogynistic thing or me coming after her. It's just she said some pretty shitty things about some of the movies that she's either starring in or going to star other in. actors in the movies too. Like yeah. just, and it's saying like, that they could just remove their whole role and it could be a better movie. That's just, that's so rude. <laughs> and, 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 you know, she, they did an interview of with her for this, of course. And she said something that was really shitty. It's like, dude, your movie's not out yet and you're already defending it. But the way she defended it was, uh, you know, I doubt any, you know, dudes will go watch it. Because they can't stand strong female leads. And I was just telling Griffin the other day. I was like, oh, "Wait a second, bitch! Like that we don't have a th- a problem with strong female leads. We actually really like that. It's just shitty movies we're not into." And the best part is, she's not the lead. She's not that's, the main character of this movie. That's, that's one of the so weird funny. fucking things. <laughs> but also, as I, you know, as I told Griff yesterday, but you know, because I I saw this yesterday, um, pretty late at night. And it's it's not a short movie. This movie's no, almost three hours long. Yeah. Yeah. Um, plus credits, so yeah, solid, almost solid three hours. So, you know, the fact that she's so defensive about shit like that, and first of all, this is this is not the first strong female led movie. It's Terminator, the, the first... first one, Sarah Connor, Ripley from Aliens, the chick from Prey. Um, it's not even the first female-led movie in this franchise. The entire Hunger Games trilogy is female-led. Yeah, and that made seven hundred million in the box office in twenty twelve. I do, I, I do want to say this though. As much ass as I've ripped her, she's fucking gorgeous to look at. Like, like I don't have a problem with. She doesn't seem like she'd be a lot of fun at a date, but she's incredibly gorgeous. Clearly, she's talented. She could sing her ass off. Um, so now I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious as to whether she's going to turn my mind around when she when we watch snow white um the movie for me though outside of viola davis and and rachel uh, it was just kind of bland for me it's to be honest by the time i got to my car i was like yeah i i yeah it was better than fucking the marbles though i'll say that's true uh this movie's broken up into three parts and it's clearly labeled 
I I did enjoy a lot of parts about this movie. I really enjoyed the main character, Snow, and I really hated that I liked him and the actor did such a good job at making me That's like him. That's the old him. dude from the originals, right? Yeah, he's the villain of the of the trilogy and he did a good job making us root for him. And I hated that. But I I think all the acting in this in this movie was pretty good. Peter Dinklage did a great job, Viola Davis as we said, Rachel Zegler. They all did a fantastic job. Solid cast. I mean, yeah, great cast. The story, I think, is good, and it's good as a book. I'm still trying to think if the third act was truly necessary, because at that part so. point, you already got it was already an hour forty in, and the third act. I was ready to we, go. We already knew. We didn't know the exact specifics of the events that happened in the third act. But because of the the trilogy, we already knew what the outcome was, and a we had a feeling of what transpired. So seeing it on the screen, just to it didn't just extend time. There were some really great scenes and acting towards the end that I really enjoyed. But was it truly necessary? And I do understand that movies as a whole are just getting longer. And that's not a bad thing. It's just it did it did slow down the pacing a little bit because you had this this huge arc and this big climactic moment, and then going into the third act, it just slowed down very much until the last honestly probably five minutes. So it's just a bit. It was an odd choice. I think it was kind of done just because it was in the book. But when you're reading a book versus watching a movie, there's different things you look for, different things you do. And it just seemed a bit, I don't know if out of place is the right word, just maybe not the best choice. See, I, I've never read the books. I did. I used to date a chick that was into these movies and I saw maybe one of the others, the ones with Jennifer Lawrence. Um, and like I said, uh, it's not my intention to rip ass on movies. I I, I, I want, because you guys are, trust us, we don't get invited to premieres and we got to pay for our own tickets and maybe someday that'll happen. But for right now, you know, we, this is our money. We're investing into it. Um, so we can bring you guys our thoughts. And so you want a movie to be good. You don't want a movie yeah. to be, to be lame or you, you don't want to, despite what many people would think. And a lot of them are my friends. I don't <laughs> like just tearing movies a new ass. I, I, I like to sit here and tell you guys how great a movie is this one, to be honest with you, I, I guess maybe you have to be a fan of this franchise to really get into it. I'm not. And so for me, like once I got back in my car, I was just thinking of, you know, getting home and getting to bed because it was it was late. It was fucking yeah. almost one. And that's something that is interesting because I think this is a good standalone movie. But if you're watching it as part of the series, I think that's when the third act becomes more irrelevant. But this is your introduction. Maybe it's more for you. It just may not be for and you just may be more part of the target art target audience. Who knows? This this is something that a lot of people have enjoyed as they've continued writing books, making movies, and these are still talked about. And Katniss Everdeen is still talked about years later. So who knows? There's obviously an audience for it. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Let us know your guys' thoughts about the newest Hunger Games movie. Whether you guys you liked it? How did you guys feel about Rachel Rachel Zegler? And let us know what you guys think about her in the comments. And as always, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date with our current videos. And we'll see you guys next time for... Wish and Napoleon and Invincible, right? Yeah, our we got last a lot of stuff of coming up. Yeah, we got... Yeah. This is our last video before Thanksgiving, so we just want to take a moment and wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys have a blast. Yeah. And uh, as Griff said, next week is busy. We have Invincible, the last episode, because uh, they're taking a break. And then we have Wish and Napoleon.